Mr. President, stop inspiring people to commit potential acts of violence. Someone's going to get hurt. Someone's going to get shot. Someone's going to get killed. Today we learn more about just how far Donald Trump and his MAGA extremists were willing to go. They abused their authority and threatened not only the jobs, but the safety of state election officials in order to try to get them to overturn elections in key battleground states. Do you know how it feels to have the president of the United States to target you? There is nowhere I feel safe, nowhere. Like, are they coming with guns? Are they gonna attack my house? I'm in here with my kid. And then some people broke into my daughter-in-law's uh, home and uh, my son has passed and she's a widow and uh, has two kids. A, a lot of threats, um, wishing death upon me. It's turned my life upside down. Most surprisingly, we heard that former President Trump, in coordination with certain members of Congress and certain members of state legislatures, engaged in a months-long, multi-step effort uh, to reverse the results of the 2020 election, even going as far as inserting fake electors. The danger from the big lie has not gone away. Trump and MAGA extremists are still attacking our elections. Just weeks ago, election commissioners in New Mexico refused to certify the results of their election until a state court stepped in. Following Trump's lead, 200 bills have been introduced in state legislatures to interfere with elections on a partisan basis. Across the country, MAGA extremists are running for election administrative offices from secretary of state to county clerk. And their goal is to be in place to overturn the next election if they need to. The lie hasn't gone away. It's corrupting our democratic institutions. On January 6th, we came dangerously close to losing our democracy. And we might have, if not for people upholding their oaths to the Constitution. We must hold these MAGA extremists accountable so that we can address the ongoing threat, preserve the health of our democracy, and the security of our elections.